And you came from LA. Coming from LA. So yeah. what's the difference? Speed. Speed. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little slower yes. here. Well And welcome to Kelly, where we talk about life, your life and my life. And through Kelly, we hope to inspire. I have Vajimir Valentine on the show today. Hey. And it's close to Valentine's Day. It is. My day is, is, is approaching. It's coming. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, is that your born name? Yes. Okay. Um, tell us about growing up with the name Vajimir, Vajimir Valentine. Um, scary uh -huh. at times because if there was ever something that went down, it was always coming back to this guy. Right. Yep. So it was... It was it was bothersome. Because nobody else had that name. No one else. No one. one. Unfortunately. <laughs> you are a director? <laughs> yes. How did you get into to directing? Um, well, I started working in the industry as a screen reader. So we would, uh, you know, um, read several screenplays that would come in, sometimes like close to 20 or 30 a day. Wow. And uh, we would, you know, leave notes on them on which we felt would have the uh, biggest impact in the industry or which work well. And, and who are you reading for? Oh, this is various companies. Um, a lot of them were small, some of them were big. Um, at that time, Warner Brothers was one of them. Okay. Yeah, so it was, it was, there were quite a few companies that we, yeah, we read for. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're, so you're a screenwriter. Did that lead you into directing? It did. So um, after constantly writing screenplays and seeing other people direct them and do as they please with them, I decided that it was probably best for me to start doing my own work. Does that give you a little more um, as, you know, c coming in as a director and having a script attached to it, does that give you a little more power than, than somebody who did, who just wants to direct and doesn't have, because you really have to have something. Either you need to understand the camera mm -hmm. and maybe be a DP and mm -hmm. direct also, or you got to have something or, or you're going to you're, it's going to be hard for you to gain that respect. Yeah, and a lot of times um, that usually happens sometimes, especially with first-time directors, and I don't think a lot of people realize that. It's like a lot of times with first-time directors, um, a lot of movie companies will put you with an older DP uh -huh. just because they haven't really developed that trust for you yet. So you always find yourself on set constantly having to gain the respect of the crew, gain the respect of your peers, um, because they know that you're new. Right. And, you and know, that DP can hijack you. He can try to hijack your spot. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's, like a, it's, it's, it's like a pirate ship. Yeah. And you are, you know, you're constantly finding yourself fighting off, you know, mutiny. Yeah. Um, to, to prove yourself. But and it's, it's always good practice for you um, to learn how to do it and, and to gain hold of yourself. Yes, yeah. yes, to be in control. To be in control, as they, as they say directors always are. <laughs> yeah, so you have a short, a short film, um, The Wisp. The Wish and a Wisp. The Wish and a Wisp. Yes. Say it again. It's a tongue twister, The Wish and a Wisp. Okay, tell us what it's about. It is about uh, two siblings um, that constantly bicker and argue with one another who learn the true value of friendship and the magic of believing when they find a real wish and encounter the menacing creature that wants it back. Okay, yeah. um, and w you're in film festivals? It is, 30 so far. Wow. So we are, yeah, um, a few of them, uh, one of them are actually, is actually in Tokyo. Two are in London, um, and we plan on um, doing six in Atlanta. So you're so, busy. Yeah, uh, we're really looking forward to this So one. each of those film festivals, uh, you have to submit to each Oh one yeah, of them. and you go so that's a lot the, of work. A, a lot of work. The, the script itself, the film itself, was a lot of work. Um, but we worked with a lot of Georgia um, actors and and film crew, and that was I think that's what really made it so awesome. Now, where do you go to look for film festivals? Um, typically, there's um, a lot online, but the ones that I generally were looking for were ones that I knew we would get the best response from uh -huh. because a lot of the films that I would hope to produce in the next couple of years um, are based on a lot of 80s nostalgia. So I wanted my film to be seen in certain areas where I knew that that would be popular. Okay. Um, you have been in Atlanta for how long? Five, five years now. God, yeah. And you wow. came from LA? Coming from LA. So yeah. what's the difference? Speed. Speed. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little yeah. slower here. Well, I, I would say that the, <laughs> everything in LA is always, you know, Yesterday, I needed uh -huh. the yesterday. I needed the yesterday, and I and, and out here in Atlanta, everything's a little bit more like I can get it tomorrow. Uh huh. It's okay. Is do you think? Do you hear the train? Yes. We have to fight with the train, that's so okay. it's, it's in all of our shows. I think every studio is near a train. <laughs> yeah, I think probably so. Pretty so, much so. Probably so. That's how you know you're professional. <laughs> you you know gotta that. have the train. <laughs> a drink to that. Right. Drink I'll to the train. <laughs> <laughs> to train. Mm. Mm. So coming from, do you think that um, it's 
we're slower here because we're not as big, right? We're just growing and we're just starting. Mm -hmm. And so we're giving each other room to make mistakes because we we have to. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a nice merger because you guys are kind of, it's like a perfect relationship. So like we're the, the speeding husband and you guys are kind of like the calming wife. So it's starting to, you know, LA is starting to learn to relax a little bit and uh -huh. Atlanta's learning to, to speed it up, up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And it's making a perfect marriage. And I think that's why we're, we're working so well together out here together, yeah. and I love it. I well, love what's it been beautiful here is we've been able to really build a strong, independent world. Oh, yes. yes. And that gives, um, you know, I can't wait to see the years to come who, who are going to be the rising filmmakers, the rising directors, mm -hmm. the, the, the actors, um, because um, our, our independent world is strong, and it, it, it's going to keep moving mm -hmm. up. And I, and I think that the industry um, relies on it. Uh -huh. Because it's independent work that, that not only gives uh, fresh faces a chance to experiment, but also like um, filmmakers like myself to kind of put out new work that's not like what's out so far and to get a positive response on it. And, and then the industry will kind of look at it and say, hey, that, that's... That's something we need to look at. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in LA, they're um, they don't have as much of an independent world. Correct? No, no, no. You know, that's um, they're they're all about that. Right, <laughs> right. So it's not giving the the people below. Exactly. And you've got to have that. You've got to give back to generations because what's going to happen if you don't? Right. right? We're going to lose it. Yep. Or and do it, we just or or LA? They just stay pretty much. They just stay in the professional world. They don't have to have the independent world because their professional world is moving. They so. like they like to think that. Okay, yeah, we like, like to say, no, you suits. gotta have us. Right, right, right. <laughs> but then there's like places like Sundance and stuff that, you know, where, where, where the, the independent circuit thrives and people actually have a love for it. Because right. that's where the art really is. I yeah. think that's where the art exists, you know. And, and a lot of times in LA, it's more like, here's Avengers. Right. Enjoy. Right. You know, we're in Sundance or independent circuits, you'll find, you know, films that really touch your heart. Yeah. And, and people are doing it with with a purpose and a reason. Exactly. Uh, we got to get back to that as a world. I agree 100 percent. And that's that's why I love Georgia so much is I'm noticing that that's that's a little Southern love, little is, is, southern is, is, love. Is, in, is in a lot of work that you guys do out here. And yeah. There's a, the actors, uh, there's a lot of passion within them. And there's just there's a lot of love out here. Well, I hope everybody as as we grow, I keep I hope they keep that in their in their heart because I think we're on the road for really good stuff. So um, I have for you some Reese's Pieces. I'm excited. Now. <laughs> <laughs> like this, my day is complete. Yes, now. yes. Um, that's to remind you that you are a gift in the world. So. Um, and when you have one of those days where you feel like nobody loves you, just know <laughs> the Kelly Show loves you and sees you as a gift. And, um, and and I think that is important too. Um, we are our environment. And if we don't give back to our environments, then we won't have communities and yeah. the love that we have. And that's so important for the world. So thank you. Thank you. And everybody, um, where, do they, where do they reach you? Uh, Vashmir Valentine on any social media platform, Twitter, Instagram, uh, you name it, VashmirValentine.com, website. So. And make sure on Valentine's especially, you give him a <laughs> shout out. Um, some advice that you would give to uh, an, um, a, a young director. Don't lose faith. Okay. Um, continuously to, to think of new ideas. Encourage um, yourself to, to, to be open. And, and, and to be free and not uh -huh. to feel like you have a responsibility to other people, only to yourself and your work yeah. and your art. And the other thing I would think of is start where you are. Amen, yeah. You gotta you, start you, somewhere. Yeah, you can't start where you aren't. Right. And you can't have the things that you don't have. So even if it's getting together with some friends and doing something off, uh, on your iPhone or, mm -hmm. or whatever, and then you know building from that and building from that. And eventually when you have something, somebody is going to invest in you. I, have to, I had a friend that said, don't let a budget be your block. Yes, I love that. <laughs> that can be your tag. Yeah, that's right. Don't let your don't let a budget be your block. Put it on the back of my car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being here on Kelly. We hope this segment inspired you and educated you. In the comments below the video, Vajmir is willing to answer any questions. We want you guys to get to know our guest, and we want you to be a part of the show. Thank you.